Hey everyone and welcome. Today we're going to have a quick little guide on the withered army training. Now every other guide I saw out there was 20 to 40 minutes long. That's way too much. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to condense everything you need to know. So the first thing is these wraiths need to be interrupted. They do have an ability that does do a big AoE and when they get down to a certain percentage they do an explosion. This explosion cannot be interrupted and you need to stun them if you can't DPS them out of it. These wraiths can be very deadly but if you interrupt and stun then you should not have any issues with them. Another thing to note is don't loot any of the big loot boxes that take your withered away. You want to keep as many withered as possible until the very end. Once you get to the end you're gonna run back through the dungeon and collect all the treasure chests. Now what this does is it maximizes your DPS and you'll start seeing when I start doing some of the mini bosses how crazy the DPS can get. Now the first one of these mini bosses we need to talk about is Laystalker Dro. Now he can pop up in a few different areas in this dungeon but what you need to know is he will start charging your withered army and when he starts charging your withered army what you want to do is either stun him or snare him. Now the reason I'm giving you an option is because you're not always going to have a stun up so you start seeing here when he starts running to my army, I charge him, which snares him, and that stops him from hitting the rest of my army. Now if you don't stop him, he can take your army out pretty quick, so you need to be on your toes on this fight. The next mini boss is the Elf Breaker. Now he does do a move called Grab Withered, where he grabs one of your Withered and he starts choking the life out of him. Now what you need to do is you need to stun the Elf Breaker when he does this. There is no way to interrupt it besides stunning him. The bad news is he also has a stomp that is non-interruptible. If you have a couple of stuns, that's what you want to save it for, grab withered and for the stomp. But you can see that at this point, if you have a sizable army, you should be able to DPS him down pretty quickly. Another thing to note is that making your withered army go berserk almost doubles their damage. So keep that in mind make them go berserk during these mini bosses it'll make everything go a lot faster now with this spider boss there's nothing too special about her dps her down go berserk and make sure you save any withered that are trying to run away you can basically save a withered at 10 percent and keep them the rest of the dungeon so save every withered that you can now i don't have max rep yet so i only have 1700 total mana what this means is i can start this encounter with 15 withered but at the end, I almost had 50 withered. So if you play your cards right, interrupt when you have to, stun when you have to, and berserk when you have to, that'll make sure that you maximize the treasure chest that you get at the end. So once you're done with the run, don't talk to the person at the end or click on the crystal. Run back through the dungeon and loot every single treasure chest and use all of your withered up. That's it for this quick little guide. Good luck raising your army.